Alicia and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look using the new Chocolate Bonbons palette by Too Faced. I am in love with this palette. The colors are so pretty and there's not one shade in this palette that I don't love. So it's very pretty. You can do so many looks with it. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. As usual, I'm going to start off by prepping my face, and today I'm going to be using the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer by Too Faced. It has coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers, so I am loving this right now since my skin has been super dry lately. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer by Clinique. And I'm just using the applicator that comes with it to dab it all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki and just blend it all out. For concealer, I'm going to start off by using the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics in the shade Medium, I believe, and I'm just going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. The It Cosmetics concealer is pretty much the same color as my foundation, so I'm now going in with the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade Light Neutral because I like it to be a little bit brighter underneath my eye. And I'm also bringing it around my nose, down the center of my nose, and on my chin just so the rest of my face is balanced. I'm sorry that my camera is out of focus. I believe the batteries were dying, so I think that's why it did that. But on in the video, it does get better. To set everything, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is going to help everything stay in place. It will help me keep from getting oily throughout the day. And it will also help my powder products go on more smoothly. Now on to contouring. I'm using the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. I am in love with this palette. I don't think I've used anything else to contour since I've got it. Now to brighten my face up a little bit more, I'm going in with the banana powder that is in this palette and it's called Lyric. For blush, I'm using the Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush by Urban Decay in the shade Obsessed. That is the perfect name for this blush because I am obsessed with it. It's just a beautiful baby doll bubblegum pink. I'm loving it. Since the eyes were pink, I wanted to add a little bit of pink to the rest of the face as well. I'm going to switch it up on highlighters a little today and use the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator by Laura Geller in the shade Gilded Honey. I've been wanting to try this for a few months now and I am loving it. And now I'm just prepping my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And we're just going to skip through this part because I do have an in-depth brow tutorial that I will link down below. Now like I do in just about every makeup look, I'm lining my waterline with a black eyeliner pencil and then I'm going to go in and set it with a black eyeshadow. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using the new Chocolate Bonbons palette by Too Faced and I'm just starting off with the shade Divinity and putting this all over the eyelid to give us a nice even base. Now I'm just taking a blending brush and going in with the shade Almond Truffle and just putting this in my crease and blending it up. And I'm just going to continue to do this until it's as dark as I want. Now 
Now I'm using the shade Black Current and I'm just going to pack this on my inner and outer corner and I'm just using a flat shadow brush. This is the MAC 242 and I love this brush to pack on shadow like this and I'm just going to continue to pack it on until it is as bright as I want. Now I'm taking a smudger brush and just dragging that same shade down on my lower lash line. And here I'm just packing more of that same color because I wanted it to show up a little brighter. Next I'm going in with the shade Totally Fetch and just using that same shadow brush and just packing this on the center of my lid. My camera is about to come back into focus, I promise. Now to make sure there's not any harsh lines, I'm going back in with my blending brush in the shade Almond Truffle. After blending, it takes away some of the colors, so once again, I'm going back in with the shades Black Current and Totally Fetch and just brightening up those colors again. Now I'm going back in with my smudger brush and I have a little bit of Black Current on there and I am just connecting the outer corner and inner corner. Now to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm going back in with the shade Divinity and just putting this underneath my brow bone just to make that highlight stand out a little more. And I'm also going to add a little bit to the inner corners of my eyes. For mascara, on my lower lash line, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. And then on my top lashes, I am first using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Lash as well. And that will complete the look. Sorry for the pink thing in the background and the change of shirt. I had to refilm this three times, so sorry about that. Okay, so that completes this look. I hope y'all enjoyed. I absolutely love this palette and love this look. I'll probably be wearing this very often because this is definitely my favorite look that I have filmed so far. So I hope y'all liked it as well. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here on my channel. I make a new video every week. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another look with this palette. I would be more than happy to do that for y'all. So just let me know. And I don't think I have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And until next time, bye y'all.